All right, so now that we've loaded our show, let's actually walk through what's in front of you when you're in a show file. You're probably gonna spend most of your time in this part of the experience in one of the mixer windows. Mixer one and mixer two really exist and you can have them do whatever you want. They're different views perhaps. Um, sometimes it could be different screens. You can actually connect four different screens to this system. You've deployed with one just because most of us are portable. So having multiple screens to set up week to week isn't necessarily helpful. But if you find it beneficial to have a second screen to plug in, you can totally do that HDMI or, um, or display port. You can do that connection there and that would show up on a Mixer 2 window. So there's tiles down the side here. There's eight tiles or nine, I guess, technically. They correspond with eight of the buttons that are on the side of the fit controller. So as I would page through these, it would actually coordinate and page through what's happening up top here, as long as I've got this set to reflect what's happening in my Mixer 1 window, and I can walk through that in a different video. Right now, I'm just looking at the All tab. And let's see if we can get some movement here going. So we can kind of see all of our uh, inputs moving, some of our outputs are kind of uh, showing here, our monitors. But you can see in this package right here, here's our 64 inputs and I've got them kind of color-coded in terms of what the instrument grouping is. And then groups, auxes, and those are kind of green, maybe a light green and a dark green. And then matrices, and then link DCAs. Uh, over the evolution of LV1, it's been called link groups, it's been called DCAs. Uh, this is really no more different than a VCA, a DCA, control group. Whatever you want to call it, it's, the, it's kind of those mixable groups that most consoles have that you can't process, but it's just more like a rubber band around your faders. It's your VCA, your DCA. That's a good way to think about it. Um, and then main and monitoring are also down here. So this is kind of your overview page. That's the all button. If we jump up here to one through 16, these are the top 16 channels. In this case, we've built it out so it's drums and then a bunch of extra stuff. If you're doing an acoustic set or maybe like an ocean kit week to week, you could have maybe your cajon or a djembe up here, maybe a toys mic. Um, if you wanna expand some things, add some more mics, maybe you've got 16 floor toms. Hey, you know, to each his own, you could have all those shown up here and that's just got some expansion up here. The next one down in 17 through 32 is what I like to refer to as the rest of the band. So here's bass, maybe some tracks, a couple of the guitar channels and the run in stereo, maybe a track guitar, a couple acoustics, a spare channel if you wanna throw in maybe a violin or a cello in there. Here's some keys lines. In this case, we've got some backup keys lines as well. Hooks and loops coming from Ableton in our case. And then jumping down into 33 through 40, I've got vocals. So you've got vocals one, two, three, and four. Maybe some BGV track to Ableton. You wanna add maybe five, six, seven, eight because that's the way you're rolling for Easter. That's kind of rolling here. And then the in-ear vocal channel, and I'll get into that in just a minute. MDs, clicks and cues, if you're using those, down into here, kind of here's your host mics, your headset mic, your talk mics, whole lot of extra expansion, and then video and MacBook for maybe ProPresenter, uh, maybe a, a MacBook separate from ProPresenter. Um, so that would be all of your inputs. Going down to the next tile, this is tile five. You've got your groups, and I'll walk through how this is all routed. Your effects, monitoring. LV1 actually does up to 16 stereo mixes. So if you found yourself in a situation where you had 16 people on stage, uh, you could drive all of their in-ears from this console, which is kind of baddie if you actually think about it. But since your system deploys with four PSM 300s, that's kind of monitors one through four, and then the two wired packs, if you've got those, five and six would be in here. This kind of built as a default mix and a default template to kind of get you going real quickly in here. Moving down, masters, um, left center mono, Q talkback, just different ways to get audio out of the console. We actually have this set up working with the matrices as the primary outputs, and I'll tell you why in another video, um, but that's where all of our audio cascades out is through matrices. And then finally, those link groups, 16 DCAs, or VCAs, whatever you want to call them, uh, they're kind of set up here. And this is where, if I'm mixing, I'm spending most of my time on this layer uh, most weeks. So those are the eight tiles, the top four, again, those were our inputs, and the bottom four kind of on the output section. Um, drums, band, 
vocals, and utility channels before you get your outputs. We'll get into more of these in the next video of kind of more of the specifics and then walking through some of the modes you can choose to view these in.